When I travel, I rarely talk about the places that I stay at, but for Bali, I got a lot of questions and I completely understand why. When I was doing my initial research, there were so many beautiful options and they're all very affordable by North American standards. So I ended up choosing three. The first was about only a 30 minute drive from the airport in Nusa Dua, and that was Sadara Resort. It's a beachfront property with a spa. I actually missed the first night of my stay due to my visa issues, but the team there did everything in their power to still make sure that I had an amazing stay. So I really appreciate that. But the second property, which is in Ubud, and Ubud is about two hours away uh, from the airport, so keep that in mind, was called Kamandalu. And Kamandalu, oh my goodness. When I got here, I felt like I had arrived in Bali. It is surrounded by the forest and the rice field that had the outdoor shower, the canopy bed, the food was amazing. It had the beautiful yoga backdrop. And I also uh, got the pedal bath, which was extra, but it was so worth it. And this is a luxury resort, but it's still very affordable. Uh, this would be in the price point of a standard U.S. property, and I'm not splurging when I stay in the U.S. Um, the last property was called Ludaya, and it is all about the spa. Um, it didn't have the walkout shower or those type of things, but it was still wonderful. And I'll do a separate video on this spa in um, another time. But one of the things I want to stress is you're not going to be able to do everything in Bali on your first visit. So I would say pick an area, pick an activity, and pick a budget, and you'll still be able to find a beautiful property no matter what. There are some amazing options here.